In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how to run a hosted web app in an Apache Cordova app. I have an existing web application hosted in Heroku, and I want to run it in Android application. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, and let's get started. Open the command prompt by typing cmd. Change the directory to your working folder by typing cd space the directory then hit enter. Create a Cordova project by typing Cordova space create space the folder name then space that com dot blah 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 dot your project name then space the project name. This will take a few minutes to create the project. Once the project is created, you need to change the directory by typing cd space folder name. Open the project using your preferred IDE. In my case, I used Visual Studio. There is a good documentation from the Microsoft. Scroll down the website and you can see this section. Copy this XML code and paste it in the config.xml file. Then, copy your website URL and replace the href value. Back to the Microsoft web page, copy the entire JavaScript code. Delete the entire code inside this index.js file and paste the code that you have just copied. Lastly, go back to the Microsoft web page and copy the HTML code. In your HTML file, delete the div tag and paste the code. Replace the href value of the anchor tag with your web URL and add it inside the HTML meta tag after the gstatic.com. Replace also the target URL value inside the index.js file. Let's go back to the CLI. Add an Android platform by typing Cordova space platform space add space Android. Again, this will take some time. You may check the official documentation of the Cordova. Okay, once the Android platform is added, we need to build it. In the CLI, type Cordova build, then hit enter. Once build is completed, open the Android project in Android Studio. Opening the project will take another couple minutes because it will rebuild the project.
Oops, you may encounter this Gradle version issue. What you can do is to open the Build Gradle and Gradle Wrapper Properties files. I have already saved the Gradle version to my notepad. Change the version 4.0.0 to 3.3.0 and then change Gradle 6.5 to 5.4.1. Try again to sync. Oops, another error. Okay, let's check it out. I have an extra colon here. Let's try again. They should have no error by now. Another error. Okay, don't afraid to read the error. It says cannot delete blah 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 blah. We need to close all the applications so we can delete the files. Close the Android Studio, Visual Studio, and the CLI. Browse to the working folder. Delete all the folders inside the build folder. Open again the project in your Android Studio. This will automatically rebuild the project. Okay, finally guys, no error. Connect your Android phone to the USB port of your PC. Your phone will be detected in the Android Studio. In my case, it is Samsung SF. Click the Run button, then the app will be installed in your phone. Click the link and your website will be displayed. Cool! But I don't want to display the Cordova logo on the link. I want my app that when it's open, it will launch the website immediately. Replace the entire JavaScript code as shown. Let's run again the app. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like. Please comment down below if you have any suggestions for our next videos.